There are so many tools made with AI that can do all sorts of different things. ChatGPT is just one of them, but there are thousands more out there. I've been testing hundreds of these tools, and some are super impressive. Some are so new that they're still in the early stages, but they're still really cool to try out. Let me tell you about a few of these mind-blowing tools first, just for fun. Then I'll talk about the ones that are really useful. Versi is a super cool AI technology that's mind-blowing. It's actually the first text-to-space AI. You just type in what you want and it creates a whole customizable virtual experience for you. You can customize it and even connect different spaces together. You can add all sorts of objects and view them from every angle. It's making me think about the future of the metaverse, which might be here sooner than I thought. NVIDIA makes some really amazing AI products. One of them is called Canvas and it's so much fun to play around with. All you have to do is draw some simple shapes and lines and then choose from a bunch of different materials to make a photorealistic landscape. You can even change the look of the image with presets and create 360 degree panoramas. They also have this awesome product called NVIDIA Broadcast, which is really helpful for making videos and recording audio. It can do lots of cool things like getting rid of background noise and echoes, changing backgrounds, and even automatically framing the shot. But there's one feature that's really unique, and that's eye contact. You can read from a script or a teleprompter without looking directly at the camera, and it will make it look like you're looking right at the camera the whole time. NVIDIA also has this amazing set of tools called Omniverse that's perfect for 3D artists. It lets you work on projects together with other people in real time, which is really helpful when you're trying to create something really cool. NVIDIA is really crushing with these tools. Text to image generators have been around for a while now and have gotten pretty good at creating realistic images from text, which I'll talk more about later, but let's take a look at text to video generators. Companies like Meta and Google are working on this kind of technology and have created some really impressive ones. Although they are not yet available to the public, Google's text-to-video generator looks particularly incredible. When it comes to the best available options, Kyber is one I recommend checking out. With Kyber, you can type in some words or upload a picture and add a prompt, and Kyber will make a video for you. It's not perfect, but it's really cool, and you can create some amazing stuff with it. You can even upload a song and choose your own style to make a music video. In fact, the band Linkin Park used Kyber to create a music video that has been viewed about 40 million times. Another tool called Leapix can turn normal photos into cool animations. It makes the pictures look like they have depth and are 3D. You can even change the angle, speed, and animation style. And the best part is that it's free to use, but Google is really leading the pack with this technology. Let's get into the more practical tools now. Here's an AI tool called Cactus that can help with your schoolwork. It can write essays in minutes, improve what you've already written, fix grammar, and format your work according to AP style. It can even create citations. There are also parts of Cactus that are helpful for science, technology, engineering, and math and coding. While Cactus can be used for studying, some people are using it to cheat on their homework. Even though there are AI detectors out there to catch cheaters, some students can still get around them. This means schools may need to adapt and find new ways to catch cheating since AI is changing the way we do things. And in connection to that, I have here another tool that can help you learn more effectively. It's called Wisdalia, and it's a free extension that you can add to your web browser. When you're reading an article or studying something online, you can use Wisdalia to generate flashcards with questions and answers based on the content you're reading. This way, instead of just passively reading, you can actively engage with the material and test your understanding. The best part is that Wisdalia also works with a spaced repetition system called Anki, which helps you retain the information in your long-term memory. The system schedules your flashcards for review at specific intervals to help you counter the forgetting curve and remember the material better. So I strongly encourage you to get this one. Okay, let's talk about a couple of creepy tools. One of them is called PimEyes. It uses technology called facial recognition to look for pictures of you on the internet. You have to pay to use it, but it can tell if your pictures are being used anywhere without your permission. It doesn't search social media though. There's this tool called Rewind that's a bit like having a perfect memory. It's like a search engine for your life. It can remember everything you've ever seen, heard, or said. It's kind of like a super advanced diary or journal that never forgets anything. It uses some really fancy computer tricks to store all of that information in a really small amount of space on your computer. It sounds cool, but it also feels a bit like something from a dark sci-fi show. DID is an interesting tool that lets you create a digital character which can talk directly to ChatGPT. No keyboards, no cursors, a face-to-face -face conversation. Yeah. 
You can ask me almost anything. Deep nostalgia is pretty weird and creepy, but it could be useful in some ways. Basically, it takes old photos of people and makes them move like they're alive. In the future, you might even be able to upload a photo and have it turn into a video that looks completely real. Some people are using similar technology to make deep fake videos though, so we have to be careful about what we believe when we see things online. There are some really cool video editing tools available now, and one of the best is Runway ML. They have a big suite of tools, and some of them are really unique. One tool they have is Super Slow Mo, which can turn any video into smooth slow motion, no matter what frame rate it was shot at. Another tool they have is called InPainting, which makes it easy to remove objects from videos. They also have a lot of image tools too, like expanding images, altering them with text prompts, colorizing black and white images. And if you want to get really crazy, they're working on a tool called Gen 2 that will let you alter videos in all sorts of cool ways. For example, you could make a video look like claymation or add a style from an image you upload. Luma Labs is a cool tool that lets you make photorealistic 3D scenes and objects that look real. You can take a picture of a room or a place and upload it to the tool, and it will turn it into a 3D world that you can look around in. This is really amazing because it used to be really hard to make 3D worlds like this. You can also use your phone to upload pictures of objects and put them into video games. Speechify is a computer program that uses artificial intelligence to read text aloud. Originally, it was designed to help people with dyslexia who have trouble reading, but many other people find it helpful too. When you use Speechify, you can select a piece of text and the program will read it to you out loud. It can be especially useful when you're trying to stay focused on reading something but find your mind wandering. Even if if you're a fast reader, Speechify can help you make reading more enjoyable and engaging. Let's talk about Grain, which is a tool that can be really helpful for people who have Zoom calls. When you use Grain to record your Zoom call, it will automatically create a written version of everything that was said during the call. That's called the transcription. But it doesn't stop there. Grain can also create a summary of what was said during the call using AI, which is really cool. You can even label the people who are speaking and choose specific parts of the conversation to highlight. That way, you can easily go back and find the important parts of the call without having to listen to the whole thing again. Plus, you can share your highlights with other people by sending them a link. Notion is a popular note-taking app that has recently added AI capabilities to its platform. This is a big step forward for the app as it allows users to access writing, summarizing, and brainstorming features without leaving the app. With AI integrated into Notion, users can create notes and documents much more efficiently. In the future, it is likely that many more apps will also adopt this feature, and it may even become a standard part of your phone's keyboard. Now let's do a sort of rapid fire and take a quick look at some cool tools that don't need a lot of explanation. AutoDraw is an online drawing tool that can help you draw things quickly and easily. You start drawing something on the screen, and AutoDraw guesses what it is and suggests a list of options that you can choose from. This is super helpful when you need to create some simple graphics quickly without having to spend a lot of time drawing them from scratch. Wist Labs is a company that provides a cool tool for making your memories more fun and interactive. You can turn your regular videos into 3D format, which can then be used in virtual or augmented reality. A reimagined home lets you try out different designs for the inside and outside of your house without actually having to buy anything. You can see what a new chair or new floors would look like in your space. DoNotPay.com is like having a robot lawyer. It knows about a lot of different legal situations and can help you figure out what to do if you get into a problem. There's this really cool website called SoundRaw that lets you make your own music for things like YouTube videos, podcasts, ads, and more. You get to choose the style of music you want, then you can customize the energy level throughout the song so it matches up with different parts of your video. You can even choose which instruments you want in different parts of the song. You get to choose the mood, theme, genre, length, tempo, and instrumentation. It's really easy to make your own music with this website. It does cost $19.99 per month if you want to use the music commercially, but if you just want to make some music for fun, there's a free option called Mubert. It's not as customizable, but it's still pretty cool and you just have to add attribution if you use it. Eleven Labs can help you clone your own voice. It lets you upload recordings of your voice and then create a script that the tool can read in your voice. It's like having a digital clone of your voice. The best part is that it sounds so realistic, like you are really speaking. It even changes the tone and emotion of your voice based on what you are saying. It's pretty amazing to be honest. Now, there are many amazing tools out there that can generate images based on the text you give them. Three of the most impressive ones are Midjourney, Stable Diffusion, and Dolly. However, my favorite one is Midjourney because it allows you to get images that match your vision in any style you want, whether it's photography, painting, or graphic design. Using this tool requires you to use commands with a messaging app called 
called Discord, which might take some time getting used to if you're not familiar with it. But once you get the hang of it, you can generate some incredible images that look just the way you want them to. I won't get too technical about the process of creating prompts, as it can be complicated and take some time to understand. However, there are plenty of videos online that can help you learn more about it. It's really enjoyable. There's a whole category of AI art now. I want to mention that some people are worried that this kind of art might break copyright rules because the computer is using existing art styles to make new pieces. There's a company called Glaze that is working on making it harder for the computer to use other people's art. But whether you think this is a good thing or not, AI art is definitely here to stay. There are some amazing tools out there that can help you create a website for your business in just a few minutes. All you have to do is give the tool an idea of what your business is about, and it will design a whole website for you. Complete a landing page, email list management tools, a brand name, logo, and text. It's a huge time saver and there's a few sites that do the same thing. There are some cool websites you can use for free to test out your business ideas. Two of them are called Mixo and Sitekick. You just type in your business idea and they create a website for you in minutes. You can run some ads and get traffic to your site and see how many people sign up for your email list. That way, you can figure out if people are interested in your idea before you spend a lot of time and money building a whole website and product. These sites might not have all the fancy features of a fully built website, but they're perfect for testing out your ideas. And there are many tools available for writing copy, both short and long. One of the best ones for longer writing is called Jasper. It helps you optimize your writing for search engines and it won't copy from other sources. Jasper can even help you write copy for Facebook ads and you can use it to get ideas for your writing. It works in 25 different languages so you can use it no matter where you live. The best part is that you can try it out for free and write up to 10,000 words without having to pay anything. But there are also other competitors that are great for different types of writing. For example, there's copy.ai, which is great for writing sales copy that will convert customers. WriteSonic has lots of templates to help you get started quickly. And Moonbeam is a good choice if you want to write longer pieces like essays and lesson plans. There are many other tools out there too, but those were the best ones that I tried out. Luca is a great website that can help you create a custom logo and branding for your business. You just type in your business name, pick some colors and logos you like, and it will generate hundreds of logos for you to choose from. Poly.ai has a feature where an AI voice can answer incoming calls for you and even resolve 50% of customer needs without you ever having to speak to them. Another website called Synthesia lets you choose an avatar and an AI voice to deliver any script you upload. This is great for creating product how-to videos or training videos. There's also a website called Tome that can make full presentations from just a single prompt. You type in your subject and a brief description, and then Tome will generate engaging text and images for you to work with. You can easily customize it to fit your needs. And last but not least is future tools. It's important to know about this one because new tools are coming out all the time. Videos like this one can become outdated quickly, but with future tools, you can search for all the AI tools available in an easy to use database. You can search by categories they have listed or for something specific. If there's a tool mentioned in a video that sounds interesting, it's a good idea to check the future tools website to see if there are other similar tools to compare. It's especially important if you're watching this video far in the future because there will probably be new and better tools out there. Spend some time searching through the database and you're sure to find some tools that can help improve your life. Whether it's for your job, a business you run, your personal life, or for creativity, there are so many tools to explore. Now that you have an understanding of the best AI tools, watch this video here to learn how to make a YouTube channel using only AI.